Alright, so let's go ahead and continue. I had to shut off my space saver heater because of the white noise. You probably heard that in the last part. And um, if you guys own a space saver heater, please make sure you shut it off. If you're going to sleep, at least put a timer for like an hour or something. Don't leave it on, especially around paper, around clothes. For those of you that don't know or probably didn't heard, but there was like a fire in a high-rise building here in the Bronx. Okay, which, you know, that's probably on the other side where I live. Not too far, but it's not near me. And 19 people died. It was on the news all last week. And, you know, I got my own view on certain things, which I'm not going to say it on here because I don't want to offend people, all right? But at the end of the day, you know, all I can say is that this is the reason why you got to honor the most high. You got to, you know, get your family in tune with your high work. Because if you got your family in tune with another deity, if you're following another religious group, then you know what? When times of trouble come, your is going to say, call for your gods. Let them save you. This is how the Most High tries to show the people that what you're worshiping is not real. All right? So Jeremiah chapter 21, verse 12. This is what your says to you, house of David. You see that? The royal family. The royal lineage. This is what your says to you. Administer justice every morning. Rescue from the hand of the oppressor, the one who has been robbed. Or my wrath will break out and burn like fire. Because of why? Because of the evil. See that? Because of the evil you have done. Burn with no one to quench it. You see that? Because of the evil you have done. But in their minds, nah, they're holy. In their minds, they worship the right God. So, the next verse says, I am against you, Yerushalayim, you who live above this valley on the rocky plateau, declares Yahweh, you who say, who can come against us? Who can enter our refuge? You see that? And again, you know, I'm showing you these scriptures so that you can understand that the Most High, He already knows your heart. He already knew of the evil that you was going to do in these days. You see that? Making a census among your brothers. You people out there oppressing Joseph. Remember that? Just like the Egyptians did to him. Oppressed him. Just like his brothers did to him. Oppressed him. So now, right? Since you have done this, and since the minds of the people are still in this way, Yahweh says, I will punish you as your deeds deserve. Remember that. Even though you bring an offering to Yahweh Almighty, I will punish you as your deeds deserve, declares Yahweh. I will kindle a fire in your forest that will consume everything around you. And that fire is already consumed. It has been consumed years ago. It's just that each year, that fire gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Why? Because Yahweh said that he was going to make Yerushalayim a wall of fire. See that? That's why every year it gets stronger. Okay? Yahweh says that he was going to kindle that fire. The Most High Yahweh says that he was going to, you know, refine his chosen ones. Okay? They were going to shed and let go of that old self. And they will become his holy ones. Jeremiah chapter 2 verse 11. Has a nation ever changed its gods? Yet they are not gods at all. But my people have exchanged their glorious God for what? For worthless idols. Be appalled at this, you heavens. And shudder with great horror, declares Yahweh. My people have committed two sins. They have forsaken me, the spring of living water, and have dug their own cisterns. Broken cisterns that cannot hold water. What do you think the Most High Yahweh has opened up this source of water? Remember, come to the waters, you who are thirsty. Come and drink. Buy and eat without money, without cost. So, this is what happens now. 
since the people do not want to listen to the Most High. You see that they are ungrateful for the things that He has given. We all know that. From the beginning of time, they have been ungrateful. Is it their fault? No, it's not their fault, but the Most High gives you enough choices, enough chances. So now is your fault for not wanting to do better, for not wanting this good that has been offered to you. It says here, make the heart of this people collapsed. See that? Make their ears dull and close their eyes. Otherwise they might see with their eyes, hear with their ears, understand with their hearts, and turn and be healed. A lot of these people out there, their hearts are still collapsed. Even though they say praise Yahweh, even though they go ahead and post scriptures all day long. But their ears are dull. Their eyes are closed. It has not been open like you and me. Like the brothers that the Most High Yahweh has gathered. The sisters that the Most High Yahweh has gathered. And now we all see the same vision. We see the same things. We all have the same heart to understand these things that the Most High Yahweh was revealing to us. Why? Because we have been healed. And we are continuing to be healed every day. Do we go to church to get this healing? No. See that? Turn and be healed. What that means? Turn. Let go of your old self. See that? Whether you turn to the left or whether you turn to the right, you will hear that voice behind your ears saying, this is the way. Walk in it. Remember that? Turn and be healed. Let go of your wickedness. See that? That's how you can ascend to Mount Tezaya one, this is how you will be one of his holy ones. All right? Leviticus 7 and 23. Say to the Yasharalites, do not eat any of the fat of the cattle, sheep or goats. Why? The fat of an animal found dead or torn by wild animals may be used for any other purpose, but you must not eat it. Anyone who eats the fat of an animal from which a food offering may be presented to Yahweh must be cut off from their people. You see that? Do you see why you weren't supposed to eat fat, right? Because now you know what the fat represents. The fat represents your callous heart, okay? It represents you not being able to see because you got that fat all around your eyes. See that? Okay? Just like how fat does, it clogs up your arteries. You see that? It starts building up around your organs. See that? Why do you think people go and get tummy tucks and all that? Because they're too damn lazy to work out. So, you know what? Let's just go ahead and move on. Ezekiel chapter 34 verse 2. It says, Son of man, prophesy against the shepherds of Yasharel. Prophesy and say to them, This is what the sovereign Yahweh says. Woe to you shepherds of Yasharel who only take care of yourselves. Should not shepherds take care of the flock? Right? So this is what the this is what the most high house says they do. You eat the curds, clothe yourselves with the wool and slaughter the choice animals, but you do not take care of the flock. You have not strengthened the weak or healed the sick or bound up the injured. You have not brought back the strays or search for the lost. You have Rule them harshly and brutally. Why? Because their hearts is covered with fat. So they were scattered because there was no shepherd. And when they were scattered, they became food for all the wild animals. My sheep wandered over all the mountains and on every high hill. They were scattered over the whole earth. And no one searched or looked for them. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. As surely as I live, declares the sovereign Yahweh, because my flock lacks a shepherd and so has been plundered and has become food for all the wild animals, and because my shepherds did not search for my flock, but care for themselves rather than for my flock. Therefore, you shepherds, hear the word of Yahweh. This is what the sovereign Yahweh says. I am against the shepherds and will hold them accountable for my flock. I will remove them from tending the flock so that the shepherds can no longer feed themselves. I will rescue my flock from their mouth and it will no longer be food for them. Because that's all that they care about. See that? Oh, they want to tend the flock, right? So that the flock can go ahead and give them, you know, 10% of their paychecks. You know, they want followers. They want to teach the word of God so that people can make donations on PayPal. 
and Cash App and Zelle. You see that? That's the times we're living in. Job chapter 15 verse 27. Though his face is covered with fat and his waist bulges with flesh, he will inhabit ruined towns and houses where no one lives. Houses crumbling to rubble. Why? Because once people find out that this person is a false prophet, all they want me and their congregation for is so that I can pay their bills, so that I can give them side money. Because to them, that's a hustle. You know? Yeah, on the outside looking in, yeah, you know, oh, he's a man of God. He knows the scriptures. Yeah, you know, the spirit of God be on him. He gets, you know, everybody going. Sure. But when that man, that woman goes back home, she's a fraud. Okay? And so, these people, once they have been exposed, this is what they shall inherit. Okay? It says here, He will no longer be rich, and his wealth will not endure, nor will his possession spread over the land. Psalm 17 and 10. They close up their callous hearts, and their mouth speak with arrogance. That's what these people do. Psalms 119 verse 70 Their hearts are callous and unfeeling But I delight in your law You see that? Why are these people's hearts callous and unfeeling? Because These people out there, you know They want to be the king of Israel You know, everybody want to be the king of Israel You know They want to be God's anointed king As if they're in any position To put themselves up there As if, you know, they had a vision from God and God showed them that they were going to be the one that he chose so this is what happens this is what happens when you know your heart your heart is callous this is the reason why the most high Yahweh says false hope makes the heart sick because these people hoping for a, a position that that is not theirs a position that the most high Yahweh only knows who it belongs to you see that their hearts are envious their hearts are jealous and unfeeling. But us who serve Yahweh, we delight in His law. Why? Because Yahweh, He has changed us. He has changed our hearts. In Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 2. Remember how Yahweh, your God, led you all the way in the wilderness these 40 years to humble and test you in order to know what was in your heart, whether or not you would keep His commands. See that? Yahweh the Most High, He knows all things. That's the reason why you cannot try to lie to Him. I can't try to lie to Him. He knows our hearts. He knows your inward mind. Ezekiel 36 and 21. I had concern for my holy name, which the people of Yashara profaned among the nations where they had gone. Therefore say to the Yasharaites, this is what the sovereign Yahweh says. It is not for your sake, people of Yashara. You see that? Again, it's not for your sake. But everybody, they think that this is about them. Yeah, you're supposed to feel good that Yahweh has included you in His glory. You know, you are part of His children. You are, you know, in here. You're part of that, of that story that everybody wished to learn about. You know, the 144,000 elect, right? That they read about in their New Testament. Oh, His elect ones that they read about in the book of Enoch, right? So, if the Most High Yahweh has revealed to you that you are a part of that, guess what? It's not because of us. We know that perfectly, but the other people out there, they think it's about them. They think they run the show. They think that they are the new leader in town. Okay? But let me tell you something. I have no time to be worrying about who wants to be in charge, you know, who wants to be around. I do what I do. I come and go through the Spirit of the Most High. And that's the way it's going to be. Always. I'm nobody's leader. Do you understand that? I can lead myself. I can go ahead and share what the Most High Yahweh reveals to me with other leaders. Because that's pretty much what you all are. You are leaders. In the future, and you know, Most High Yahweh will, will always have me here, Most High willing to help out in any way, form that I can. But soon in the future, you brothers and sisters are going to be the ones clothed in linen. 
you already are clothed in linen. You have your garments of splendor, but the Most High Yahweh, you know, He's teaching you this so that you may go ahead and run off with it in the future to do what you have to do. This is why this is being revealed to you all. Okay? So that you may do what you have to do for the Most High. Because in the future, you're going to be the ones to teach this to the other peoples. Alright? You all. So as much as people may think that I'm making this about me or I may think that I'm somebody, the Most High Yahweh knows why I'm here. You understand that? And when I'm done doing what I have to do, I'm not saying that I won't be here no more, but just saying that once I'm done doing what I have to do, you brothers and sisters are going to be the ones clothed in linen. All right? You're going to be the ones, like the Most High Yahweh says, who will, will be shining brighter than the lights in the firmament. That's the time that we're living in. But Yahweh's doing all of this for the sake of his holy name, which has been profaned among the nations. I will show the holiness of my great name, which has been profaned among the nations, the name you have profaned among them. Then the nations will know that I am Yahweh, declares the sovereign Yahweh, when I am proved holy through you, see that, through you, before their eyes. See that? So you have a future. Every day that we wake up, we give thanks to the Most High for another day, another week, another month, another year. Because why? Because we are all part of His plans. Every day that we wake up, it's another day closer to the future. Okay? Another day closer to the kingdom of Yahweh being established. The day is going to come when the wicked are going to wipe themselves out. Believe that. There's no need for us to be violent, for us to think that, yeah, you know, let's go ahead and start practicing how to cut necks and, you know, how to become warriors and do all this crazy stuff. There's no need for that. Because the wicked are going to wipe themselves out and we're going to be here to witness this. We're going to be here to see this happen. This is how the meek shall inherit the earth. Why? Because the, the proud were too damn proud to be here. The proud, you know, they they hated their mother. They despised, they despised their mother in her old age. That's what happened. The proud, they, you know, they got tired of sticking to their human deeds. They wanted to become one with the watchers. And that's how the, the meek shall inherit the earth. Is this going to happen overnight? No. It's going to take time. Just like everything else has been taking time. But... It has surely, but slowly, come into pass. This is the reason why you have to have patience. This is the reason why, you know, you have to control your anxiety. We all have anxiety. Alright? We all have shit going on with us because of the things we have to endure, because of the things we have to see. That's the reason why you have to stay strong. That's the reason why the Most High Yahweh is preparing your mindset for the future kingdom. Because in case you don't know, this is what you have been doing these past years. Your mind has been getting prepared for the future kingdom. Not a lot of people are going to be able to have the mindset to be, you know, in the future kingdom. And that's the God honest truth. They're not. A lot of people won't be able to endure to see the things, you know, that are going to happen before the future kingdom. Because a whole lot of things are happening. We're living in the times of Jacob's trouble. It is at hand. But through it all... It says that he will be saved, right? So let's hope and pray that Jacob be saved and all of us. It says in Isaiah chapter 32, verse 3, Then the eyes of those who see will no longer be closed. That's what's happening now. The people's eyes are waking up. I mean, the people who have woken up, their eyes are starting to see. And every day that they wake up, they're starting to see more and more. That the things that the Most High Yahweh has been revealing to us throughout these years is starting to speak for itself. Well, the people didn't believe back then, but it's a matter of believing now with your own eyes to see that these things are coming to pass. Why? Is it because I'm special? Because we're somebody? No, because this is the word of Yahweh. This is what it means. The fearful heart will know and understand. 